KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Today we have Ishita Agarwal with us and she has secured All India Rank 2 in GATE 2024. She was our online classes student who has studied with us for the past few months before the GATE examination and she has come out with colorful results. So we are, we are fortunate to have her over here. In this brief interaction session, we'll get to know some insights from her as to how she prepared for the examination and what led to her success in this exam. So firstly, Ishita, I would like to start by congratulating you on that wonderful you, result. We are really proud of your result and your success. Uh, so let us begin the discussion. Firstly, I would like to ask you uh, regarding the timeline. When did you start your preparation? When did you decide to prepare for gate examination? How much time did you spend for your overall preparation? Uh, so I started my preparation back in July of 2023 uh, till February and it was a rigorous exercise. And I would say like the timeline of the like the study hours was not that consistent. Initially, it used to be three hours, four hours, and then it extended up to eight hours. When like uh, during the time of December to February, it was very religious for me. Then I had to put in all my effort. Okay, so uh, with respect to your college, like you started your preparation after your college, or was it hundred percent of effort into college, or did you have any other engagement during your preparation? Uh, no, I started my preparation after college and I was completely dedicated to it. But having said that, I also was involved into in a couple of projects side by side. But uh, mostly my time was given to this gate preparation in that time. Okay. Which is, I think, necessary when you have a set goal, you need to give some time for it. Absolutely. And it is not a uh, easy thing. Uh, to get into yeah. such a top result in the gate examination, which is highly competitive these days. So I would like to also ask you about the resources as to how did you prepare? What are the resources you have referred to in your preparation? How did you plan out your overall preparation? So I attended all the online classes and like even the time was set, like you all obviously have backup recorded sessions. But I myself made it a point to be present in the live classes because then you can put up more questions and it's more interactive that way. And then obviously there's a lot of study material that you go through. You have in cards which you can refer and I get distracted easily with the topic when I get interested into it. I go into the depths of it. So I really enjoyed studying the in cards and like learning about so many different architects. So okay, that way. Okay. Uh, other than that, did you make any notes of your own or was it just highlighting from study material? What was your approach for taking a note of things? So I always prefer to make my own notes throughout any sort of course that I'm doing. And uh, I made the notes during all my classes, but in the end, I had a copy of my short notes as well to go through. Okay, so you used it for your revision probably. So yeah. Okay. Uh, and what about the practice? Uh, did you practice only the past gate question papers or did you also practice the tests or what was the amount of effort you put into practicing questions? Okay, so I will just entail my like last two months of the preparation because December to February was quite rigorous for me when I was done with the entire course from everybody's end and my end. I had to go through all of it again. So I made it a point to make short notes first, go through the entire course again, make short short notes. And the short notes was like a personal target for me that it had to fit into one A4 sheet, not even the backside can be used. It had to be in the front one. Because to me, it felt like when I would be done and I would just see 24 pages, that would be less overwhelming to me than seeing like whole three books of uh, notes. So that thing I used and then I also like when I completed that, then I went through uh, past year question papers rigorously. And uh, then I also attempted mock test, which is something that I would recommend to people after you've done with your preparation. But keep in mind not to be disheartened with the mock test because there will always be questions that are new to you. But just go through them. It actually helped me a lot in the exam. 
Okay. So uh, during the examination, like on that day of the examination, what was your state of mind? Were you confident enough or uh, how did you manage the stress during the last few days? So uh, I personally set like short targets, small targets for me that this has to be done now by this timeline. I have to make my notes this timeline. I have to complete the questions this timeline. I have to do the mock test. So making small goals really helps you. That gives you you know, something to look forward to and something that you can physically take in your sheet of paper. That thing really, you know, motivates you. And during the exam, uh, like on the day of the exam, I remember, like I am a person who just like studies my notes in at my home and then does not, you know, uh, obviously it works out for some people to study till the very end moment. But then like I had just like my 24 pages of notes and I just took that much with me and uh, I made it a point not to open those notes till I felt like I was forgetting something. That was the point of taking the notes. It was not to go through them again. But like in my head, I was revising everything in my head. But like uh, that note was just a backup copy that I have it and I would need it if I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. So good thing was I did not feel like I needed it. At the end moment in front of the exam center, I did not open my notes. And I was pretty calm. And like, you have to account for some variation and you have to be open to it. Like, it could be as simple as going back to the car or like going back to your vehicle to get something. You forgot something or you having hours to just like remove your jewelry at the center. Or like, just like tiny things that you cannot prepare for, but you need to have an open mind to it it distracts you from the main thing at the moment but like you have it when you get there on time you have enough time to sit in your seat to revise it in your head and just calm down before the exam okay thanks for that insight i will for sure be useful for our future aspirants and uh yeah. just to add to what you said you were talking about the 24 a4 i'm sure you're talking about the 24 list of subjects we have in the coaching for yes. our preparation so yes, you yes. made an A4 sheet to revise each and every subject as a whole. Yes. That's a very good approach. Uh, so this approach is something probably we had discussed in the lecture also sometime because it is an approach which even many of our past top rankers have used it. Uh, yeah. And it is very good that it worked out for you as well. Uh, so moving on to the next question. Uh, as far as the exam is considered, which part did you attempt the architecture or the planning? And uh, when did you make this decision? Was it during the examination or during the preparation itself? Okay, so I attempted the part one, B1 part of the exam for architecture. And uh, like when I started the gate coaching, coming from an architecture background, I thought that I would attempt architecture, obviously, because that would be more familiar in a way. But during my prepara uh, preparation, I learned that I learned a lot of uh, subjects and I learned a lot of aspects and I came up with an open mind that uh, like this is also something that I could do but uh, by the end of my preparation I was pretty confident in the architecture part and I had the entire list in front of me seeing uh, how most of the subjects I still had to learn for the common part I made a choice to go with the architecture part only I felt that it was more scoring personally to me Okay, so it was a personal uh, interest towards architecture yeah. and you were comfortable with. So it, yeah, uh, what you prepared. Okay. That's Having nice. said that, planning is also quite easy, but you need to make sure that you go through everything. You then like planning, even though you have only three subjects in B two part, you need to go through the entire chapter, entire list of topics. You cannot miss anything. But having said that, it's also very scoring. You just need to know which you are more confident in. in. Even during the exam, I went to the B2 part to check it out if I was more comfortable with that. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, having open mind, even we recommend the same, having an open mind, preparing both is always beneficial in long run too for uh, date and also for other competitive exams in the future. Okay. So that said, uh, what was the uh, schedule? Like you were talking about eight arts of revision on an average for the last few months, two months or so. So yeah. what was the focus main or mainly on? Was it revising only or revising and practice or learning new things as well? So what was the uh, major effort put into? 
ओके सो बाय डिसम्बर आई थिंक आई वॉज डन विद माई कोर्स एट माई एंड लाइक द इंटायर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट आई वॉज डन विद सो माई रिविजन हैड स्टार्टेड बाय देन एंड देन लाइक इट वॉज माई गोल माई पर्सनल गोल टू स्टडी ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स अगेन गो थ्रू द नीटिग्रिटीज देन लाइक अप्लाई माई सेल्फ टू द पास्ट इयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट पर्टिकुलरली एंड एक्चुअली सर आई वुड लाइक टू क्रेडिट इट टू यू ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई यूज वन ऑफ योर बुक्स दैट यू पब्लिश uh the past uh, gate questions 30 year gate questions and i went through uh, that book was quite nice in a way that you had questions for each topic and it was dedicated so like your you felt like personally you felt like you had revised the entire chapter so i went through that and then uh during the last bit of my preparation i had stopped using in cards because i went through that during the course of my preparation earlier but i would also recommend people to you know keep up with the modern architects and go through modern uh, architects and their news also even during the end of the preparation yeah up being up to date with current affairs yes. you know, like pritzker award winning architects and so on i think that yes please uh, thanks for that insight and moving on uh, towards the end i would also like to ask you about your future plans now that you have secured your second rank what is it you are planning for or what is it you are aspiring for in the future i am still looking to make a choice and informed decision on the thing my research has been going on non stop after getting the gate result and i'm immensely happy about that i am looking to go for mr or m design courses in product design or sustainable technology wherever i feel that i would be best applied to or that would benefit me you know in the long run that i would be able to make a difference in okay so at a toward as a conclusion i would like to ask you about your experience with us at kp gate classes how has it been across your preparation and uh, i think you joined in the beginning in the month of july or so yeah. into the classes okay so how has your experience been for these say 8 or 9 months uh it has honestly been great and uh, there is no other word other than great because it is so organized everything that i've uh, i actually loved learning about these new aspects like obviously in your bachelor's you learn about a lot of topics but there are some things that these topics that are ignored or you know just because they have to complete such a big amount of course and architecture is basically limitless there is no end to it it's it's full of scope and there's no end so in the classes particularly i loved learning about these new subjects and it was very organized to the last point and everybody was so supportive till the uh, very last end to guiding us to how to prepare uh, about the exam and like what to do with it and what kind of questions come up in the exam it was very organized and very thorough uh thank you ishita i would like to end with that note thanks a lot and i would like to congratulate you again uh on the success and i wish you uh, that you get into the college of your interest and uh, come out with colorful uh, results over there as well congratulations and thank you uh, for giving your insights to our future thank you so much sir KP classes dedicated to excellence